Hello, so this is going to be kind of a weird video, um, and it's not well lit, and you're not going to be able to hear me very well, but I'm going to film it anyway. So, I'm going to build a bookshelf. I'm actually going to build this one from Target. I have two of them already in the room um, that I have lamps on, but I'm going to put it right here where this cart is against the wall. Because eventually I want to put a lamp on it. Um, that outlet actually does not work. So, or that outlet doesn't work. So, are you going to eat the box? Give me a minute. Sorry, my cat likes to eat cardboard boxes. And actually, let me move this up. Because this is going to get really old really quick. You're probably not going to be able to see as much um, actual building content like this. But that can't be helped. Sorry, my cat likes to chew on cardboard. Um... So, if we hear that, there's not a lot I can do. Um, no, but I got this shelf because I want to put a light there. The outlet doesn't work. It actually blew sometime in, um, right around Thanksgiving. Right around Thanksgiving, and so I haven't been able to use that outlet at all. Uh, I do have a light in the corner, but it's over there. I want one here so there's light because there's not an overhead light in this room. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd get this bookshelf. I had a little bit of money, um, so I went ahead and, and got it. Like, I, I've got the money now. Might as well use it. Um, oh, if I can get this out. Thank God. Um, and I just want to talk about some of the channel plans I have for the summer. Because summer is kind of my main content time because I'm not in school or teaching. So, I do have some plans for some fun things to do. And uh, let me just change this camera situation. Make this a little bit easier on both of us. Okay. I like that a lot better. I feel like I'm not in the dark. Um, anyway, I'm usually able to do more in summer because I have time to film and edit. Um, and that's kind of the thing is having time to do both. Sometimes I have really good ideas for videos, but I just don't have the time to do them. So... I'm going to kind of tell you what I've definitely got on tap for like the next few weeks and then what I would realistically like to do in general. Um, I'm also trying to keep track of which of these is which because if I build this wrong, I'm going to feel so embarrassed. You'd think having built two of these previously, um, it wouldn't be difficult. And it's not, but like sometimes my brain doesn't work in like the spatial awareness of these um these kind of instructions so I have to make sure I'm paying attention I guess and it's gonna be hard to do it with one set of hands um usually I have my husband to help so anyway wish me luck these shelves are like super dirty I don't know what happened to them in transit but it's not good all right so we want the unfinished edge on top yes yes probably Align fixed shelves on side panel as shown. Unfinished edges all facing the same way. Okay, so I've got unfinished edge up over here. Unfinished edge up over here. So, that should be good. Okay, so, the very first thing I'm probably going to do on the channel, um, the next video after this one, is the classroom library video that I've kind of, Sorry, lining things up is annoying. She's eating that box in the other room. I knew she would be. Um, is the classroom library video where I did, um, I went through and went to a bunch of Goodwills and thrift stores and Habitat for Humanities and picked up books that I wanted to put in a classroom library. And so you get to see that next. And then um, next week I will be doing a, excuse me, an anti-TBR video. Uh, they were real popular last year in the summer. Um, and I've got the information for who created it and everything, and I'll be, I'll be citing her on it. But it was really interesting to think about people that I'm not interested in reading. Um, and, and books and series I'm not interested in reading that, uh, and some of them are going to be a little controversial, and some of them won't. If you've been on my channel for a while, you're going to kind of pick up on who I do and do not want to read. So that's what's immediately going to be done. I also need to put this in the right hole.
come on, bud. Why is the line thing duck with bad eyesight? I'm telling you. Um, I also kind of want to do that thing that people did a while ago where they read like the lowest rated things on their TBR, or the lowest rated whatevers. And I have got a list of the lowest rated um, horror novels, just some in general, but a lot of them were already on my TBR and I just happened to look at them. And um, that one is already very interesting to me because I don't consider a three a low rating and I don't consider a three necessarily a bad book immediately. Uh, it's just a book that probably would be hit or miss with me. If it's a three, then I probably like it. Like if I give it a three, I probably like it, but it just didn't do maybe everything it promised it would do uh, to get a four and I didn't immediately love it and give it a five. I mean, I have I have books on my favorites that got fives that are probably other people's threes. You know, it's it's really an arbitrary kind of, of rating. Um, but I tried to find books that were low rated in the sort of like two to three range for horror. Um, I'm also going to be, um, well, if I can get this in here. Come on, baby. I'm also going to be looking at just books uh, other people didn't like, like horror novels that people didn't particularly care for, for one reason or the other. Um, I've got a pretty good list. Uh, now is the time where I'm going to be finding out where I can get them from. Because here's the thing, if I don't already own it, I have to find it in the library or on Libro FM or Audible or something. And that's not like super easy if the libraries I'm surrounded by don't have it. I can't read it. Um, but I would like to do that in the next, in the next two months. Um, I also am likely going to read my most anticipated reads from 2020. Um, because there's like three or four books I mentioned last year in videos that I haven't read yet. Like I have them, they're on my shelves, and I've even put them in TBRs like last year and this year and they haven't gotten read so I want to try to actually finish the anticipated reads mainly because I looked this morning at my June anticipated reads and oh boy I have so many of those um why do so many books come out in June I mean I guess it's a good month for it but like there are so many books coming out in like two weeks that I need to read so I need to go ahead and get the 2020 zone but it's a, it's a good handful of books, and I can add it to my TBR without much change. I've got to kind of um, yell at you a little bit because you're kind of far away. I've got an idea to do my my mom's favorite books, just do a, a read-a-thon of my mom's favorite books, because she has kind of an eclectic mix of books that she read in high school um, that were like her favorites, and I think it'll be interesting to try those, but that might wait until next year. I don't know if it's going to be something I can squeeze into this summer. Um, It'll be interesting. We'll see. I was uncomfortable with the angle, so I changed it again. Y'all just got to bear with me with this video. Okay, so I've gotten step one done. I put all the little shelves here um, the way they're supposed to go. So step two is adding the other side. So if I just rotate it, I should be good. I'll get all those screws out. I do also want to film um, a wrap up for not this month because I feel like I just did that. I feel like I just did a wrap up because of uh, the 50 book video. But um, I did the Asian readathon. I'm actually still doing it right now. And um, I would like to give kind of my feedback on that and what I read and how I liked it, what I would have done differently. Um, 
So I'll probably do something like that maybe at the end of the month. As far as readathons go, uh, in the summer, I was always a big participant in uh, the Reading Rush. Actually, the first videos on my channel are uh, related to Reading Rush content and, you know, making a TBR and doing the daily vlogs and stuff. And um, I've had a good time two years doing that. But last year, they kind of they kind of lost me a little bit toward the end and, and with some of the stuff they did just in general was very very not right and not um not a good look for the reading rush um, i'm gonna have to take those screws out if they make me so mad that i'm not allowed to take them out the problem with the second shelf is that like you need to make sure everything's lined up before you start tightening and i didn't do that so now i have to go back and unscrew this anyway i have mixed feelings about the reading rush because like I like I said I, that's how I started on book two was I started doing the reading rush and doing the daily vlogs and recording on my computer and it was all kind of uh fun and, and and interesting but last year they just they really dropped the ball on so much stuff and some so many things that I feel like they didn't actually address the way they needed to um and I think other people would agree with me on that but it really wasn't they didn't handle it well during or after, and I feel like they still owe explanations for certain behaviors they did. And am I missing a screw? Oh no, I'm not. It was over there. Um, there was just certain things I didn't feel were addressed appropriately. Um, and I'll, I'm all for accepting apologies, but one, I'm not really in one of the groups that was supposed to be apologized to. Um, and I can't say whether an apology was acceptable or not, given the groups that were um, directly affected by their behavior. But I didn't feel like some of the things really felt like they were going to move forward and do something good. Now, we know from last year, they did their announcement of like the challenges and stuff on Juneteenth, and that was already just a big no-no. Um, so if they do the Reading Rush this year, I'm sure we'll see something from it in the next like month or so um so i'm just kind of interested to see what actually gets done with that um i'm undecided on whether to participate i'm kind of hoping fingers crossed that someone has something going on around the same time again i, I hate to get like drama and petty about it but i really like that kind of community involvement in a in a reading challenge because a lot of readathons, they're smaller clubs. Like I'm doing the buzzwordathon, I'm doing the literary dead, literary, literally dead book club. Um, I'm doing the Asian readathon. I try to do um, the Krusty Book Club when I can. Uh, there's a couple others that like they're interesting to me, but sometimes I can't get the book. Again, new releases are impossible in this area unless I buy it, and I, I'm not made of money. Um, she says as she puts together a new bookshelf. Don't worry about it. Um, but it's just, I, I like knowing everybody's reading kind of the same stuff at the same time. We're all reading a bunch of stuff together. Um, and it makes me feel really good and involved with the community. And I like the daily challenges and I like the Instagram challenges, but I don't know. Uh, it's, it's complicated. I feel like I won't know if I'm going to participate until news comes out about it. Um, and I'll probably make the decision very last minute on whether I'm going to participate or not. But that would be my July plans would probably be that vlog and then not much else because that is a really time-consuming thing. As far as life updates go, um, I am still on the job hunt for a job teaching uh, in education. And um, I've got some prospects and I've, I've got some interviews lined up. And people have my information, and that's about all you can do this time of year. Uh, that's what they don't tell you and you don't know about teaching is uh, you're kind of at the mercy of people leaving and people telling you when they're leaving. So I don't really have official jobs I can interview for because the people haven't left yet. And right now they're in the middle of testing and like end of year stuff and getting people graduated and things. So there's not much... Um, there's not much I can do besides wait. And uh, if you were interested, I do have a second YouTube channel that I use for filming things for school. Um, I had to do a book report on it. Uh, it's for my, like my my classroom's web page, like the video. 
I post or whatever is on there. Um, and I will link that if you want to follow it. It's just Miss Dupree's classroom. I'll be doing like book talks and stuff, so little book trailers. But um, it's pretty casual, but I didn't want to, besides the classroom library, I didn't want to bog down this content with a lot of education-based stuff because I know not everybody's interested in that. I mean, some of you probably are, but if you are, I'd rather you just go to that page so I can stay in like my teacher talk kind of thing rather than on here where I'm a little bit more casual. But if you are interested, you are absolutely welcome to follow my uh, teacher YouTube and subscribe to that as you see fit. So the last thing that I'm going to try with all my might to film this summer is a bookshelf cleaning and a bookshelf tour. I've kind of been limited the last few years in my skill level as a filmmaker pretty much um i'm i'm working with a phone and a tripod and a ring light and um not much as far as editing skills and filming know-how goes and i just like it so i love watching bookshelf tours and they look so nice i can't i just don't know how to edit like i don't know how to Oh, is that just not going in? Come on. Well, we're going to have to hope that that's fine because that's not going in. Um, I don't know. I just have, I think that other people's videos are so nice and they're so pretty and I just wish that were me. But, and I know that my shelves are great and people are going to like to see them, but it's a matter of me knowing how to film them appropriately so people actually enjoy looking at them. I think the next step involves a hammer, so I'm definitely not going to be able to do that. Um, yeah, they want me to do a screw cover with hammers, so I'll just go ahead and talk to you really quick about the bookshelf tour, and then I'll, I'll cut to the end when it's done, because you don't need to hear me hammer a bunch of stuff for five minutes. Um, I really want to do a bookshelf tour. First, I want to clean the library. I've added all these new shelves, so I want to reorganize which means putting a card table in here and getting all the knickknacks off the shelf. Getting all the knickknacks off the shelf and then, like, reorganizing the books. Fundamentally, it's going to stay the same. The three shelves in the very middle of the room, those are books I have read. Or they are, like, my special collection, like, rainbow covers. Um, all the other shelves are pretty much books I have not read. They are my physical TBR. And it's insane how many books are on that. But I have been cutting back as much as I can. There may be an unhaul where I do one last minute unhaul before fall and put those in my classroom library. But I want to do kind of a filming of the before and after. And I want to do an in-depth tour of my bookshelves and the books I have physical copies of or if I have special copies of it. Um, if I have fun little knickknacks, maybe you, I want to show you. Like you can see those kind of things. But that's going to take time to not only film, but also edit. So that may be something that happens at the end of summer. We'll, we'll see. Um, again, a lot of these things are like pipe dreams for me, and I would really like to do them, but we're going to be at the mercy of what I'm allowed to do based on time and skill level. But that's, that's pretty much it as far as my ideas. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop now, finish hammering all the things that need to be hammered on this shelf, and then cut to it finished where it's supposed to be. Um, after I get all this done. Interrupting to say, apparently I hold a hammer funny uh, when I was putting together the shelves over here. Um, I was, you know, working on the back piece and my husband was like, why don't you try holding it like this to kind of direct it? And I'm like, this here? I'm like, because I have not upgraded from when I was like five years old playing with a hammer. And this, I just, I just hammer funny, I guess. So like, watch as I'm hammering this to see if you think I'm doing it incorrectly or not. As far as I'm concerned, it gets on there and nothing gets messed up, so I'm hammering correctly. But just let me know if it looks weird to you. Okay, the back, this part's on. The back is on this part, and um, it's a, it's a little crooked. It's a little crooked, so we're gonna hope the bottom one is a little bit better. Um, but I don't care. Like it's. It's fine. That's facing the wall. Nobody will know but me. I mean, and I'll feel guilty about it, but again, no one will know but me.
I also got, while I was there, this storage bin. Uh, the other two in the room are gray. And they're really cute. But I kind of like this, like, graph paper, like, lined design. So, I'm going to go with that. Um, very excited to have another shelf to use and put all this stuff in. So, let's get this the correct way. Flip it in there. Ta da! Another bookshelf. Um, I think it looks really nice. Um, is it a little uneven? Maybe. Um, but it's okay. It works. Um, the cat has already claimed it, so that's great. Anyway, thank you for coming to this video. I know it was absolutely the most random thing I've done on this channel in a while. But it was fun, and I built a bookshelf, so I was productive. So now I'm going to go eat some mango that I cut yesterday and probably wash dishes and put off reading Christine, which is good, but it is a Stephen King. So I haven't reached that point where it, like, becomes something I have to finish reading yet. And uh, I'm hoping that hits me any day now because I really need to finish that this month. So anyway, uh, there's a new video coming soon. It'll be the Classroom Library video. Hope you like it. Hey, bud. And uh, thank you for watching. You're naked again. You gotta stop doing that on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Everybody have a great day.